Brat, 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 brat. What up, UK? What up, London? What up, England? What up, Europe? Wagwan. Yeah, yeah, kicking it on South Beach. That's right. M1 from Dead Prez. Mighty RBG family right here. Your Basta. Umi, RBG. That's right. POW for life. I'm pissing off Whitey in a major way. <laughs> Holla at your boy. <laughs> Let me know, how do you guys come up with your names? Where's everyone from? Individual yeah, names yeah. or group names? M1 first. M1. Um, namely because um, my true name is African name. It's Mutulu. Mutulu Olubala is my name. And um, I always wanted to use that name to rap. It just wasn't popular to, to do that. And I felt like um, a, even a, a shortened expression of who I am is M1. Um, not just because the letter M and the number one being like me being the highest and best that, M, that I could be, but M1 because of the international symbol of the revolution that it is. It's a revolutionary weapon. And I feel like that's what kind of thing I was about. You know what I mean? It's that, it's that, it's that gap. You know what I'm saying? That's the M1. You know what I'm saying? What about the group names? Uh, let's get Umi. I was born with Umi. You know what I'm saying? My father blessed me with that. Like, it's from um, Ghana, West Africa. My name is Umi Bang. Um, it's life's peace and shit. The water and the sun, the, the, the combination. And um, I'm about a peace, about getting my peace. You know, whether it be peace or whether it be breaking bread and getting a piece of the action and getting this paper popping. So, um, you know, I try to, like, come up with nicknames for myself and shit, you know what I mean? Illusion. I had all kind of shit back in the day. Black niggas used to call me black, not because of my complexion, but because of my politics. And um, that was when I was in high school. I went with that. But ain't nothing stick like my real name, you know what I'm saying? It was easy. It was like, it expressed who I was and it wasn't no, it wasn't no fakeness. It was like, that's me, motherfucker. If you like it, you like it. If, if you don't, I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? I was born with that, you know what I mean? So. Okay, how about RBG? Now, for the father, Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey, Garvey. Yeah. straight up. Marcus Josiah Garvey. Yeah, you, Garvey. Down for us. you know, okay. you know, gave us our liberation flag, uh, which represents Africans around the world. Okay. And Africa itself. And, yeah. the, and the struggle towards the liberation. The red, yeah. the black, and the green. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That 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 blood that that people and that 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 get that. Yeah. Um, and as a way to like um, to, to preserve it and, and not to honor it in the most you know like the most highest way you know we, we decided to take that banner and, and, and not only make it our flag but make it our lifestyle you know what I'm saying so the RBT shit like for us is everything you know what I mean you know not only real black girls red black and green rice beans and gravy it's, it's, the, it's, it's the essence of what really pumps through our, our blood you know what I'm saying so like that ain't no that ain't no funny shit, that's some real shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, what, are you, what are you doing in South Beach? Oh man, um... Looking from, at ass. <laughs> <laughs> everything I can do, you know what I mean? Anything I could possibly get my, get my hands into. Um, but it, the, the grind don't stop, you know what I mean? It's been promoting uh, this new project that I recently released, it's called Confidential. And, um, you know, it's good to be able to do it in the sun, but it's definitely I'm out here grinding, trying to get in front of every television camera, every microphone, every crowd, and every club, and let people know who I want. And right now, it's this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you guys working on your solo projects now, right? Yeah, there, there is solo projects. There's a lot of projects. It's not just that going down. Okay. A lot of different things are bubbling in the thing. Um, you know, before... I, I, my solo project, but even before I even finish that, I'll finish the project with Dead Prez and the Outlaws from Tupac's click. So look out for that to come. Okay. Dead Prez Outlaws. Umi got enough various things that he's doing. So many projects that's out and coming. So so we can look forward to another Dead Prez album. Okay. As a group. And many forms. Yeah. Okay. And many forms. Stickman album is a Dead Prez album. Yeah. Okay. And one album is <laughs> Dead Prez album. Yeah, but look for the dead press, dead press, like how y'all loving the shit, like, cause all, y'all gonna end up loving all of this shit, you know what I mean? It's just that y'all got exposed to that first, you know what I'm saying? So, it's only natural. But look for that around December, January, you know what I mean? We're gonna come extra hard. It's non-stop, man. Okay. Now, would you guys being quite outspoken with such a lot, you got, you're, you've got a growing fan base, do you feel you have a responsibility towards these people that are listening to you and listening to your message? 
um, I, have, I have a responsibility towards um, the, my oppressed community, black and brown community worldwide. I, I don't think I have a responsibility to everybody who buys my album because, honestly, everybody who listens to revolutionary music is not going to do a revolutionary act. So, um, I feel like some people are buying the shit for entertainment. Some people are buying it because they my enemy and they want to know what the fuck I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? I know this. So, I'm really doing this for even people who don't even, who've never heard Dead Prayers in their life. And which is a lot of people who have not been exposed. I'm really trying to toe that line for Africans, black and brown, poor and oppressed people. You know, and that includes Latin America, Latin, you know, Latin people and all that. You know what I mean? So, so what would you, what would your, what would uh, be, people's ideal responses to listening to your music? What would you like people to do or feel? Or what would be the ideal outcome of people listening to your music? Get organized and take over. Get organized and take everything over. Do it in the name of the people and do it in the name of love and honesty and truth and the kids. Get organized. That's what you can do when you hear the shit that I do. Hopefully I can help you do that. If I can't, Please find somebody who can lead you better than me. I'm just trying to make the music that you feel like getting organized to. Okay. Now many people we come across in, in England, they they branded you as ignorant and racist. Even. What would you what would you reply to those people? Be. They honestly don't know. They have no. They don't know me. You don't know me. You know. Would you? If say you that look at this conversation and you say that I'm ignorant, you obviously don't know me. You know. If you look at this conversation and say that I'm racist, you probably you obviously don't know. Me, you know, it's cool. You know what happens? Is assumptions are made. When we stand up for our rights, people assume that we want to do to other people what they've done to us for 500 years. That's what the natural assumption is. When you say, "I want to stop being oppressed," I want to stand up and get this off my back. They think, "Oh, you're so angry. You gone." No, but that's not me. That's not the nature of African people. You know what I'm saying? All, all we want, like Umi said, is a peace. You know what I'm saying? We want a peace so we can have some peace. We need equality. We need self-determination. That means that we want to have, we don't want to have more power than white people. We want to have the same power you got. The same power. And I don't want to oppress you. I want to stop that from happening to me. Now, that can't be racist, is it? Now, if it is, you need to check yourself. Check yourself. <laughs> but do you feel for that revolution to take place, it, it, there needs to be violence? It's already violence. Yeah, man. It's, <laughs> it's already violence. Like, I didn't yo, make it up. <laughs> the fucking, the, the, the funniest shit, like, is this, this country's so hypocritical. Like, um, they just they just assassinated one of our heroes, uh, Stan Tookie Williams, um, out in L.A. and shit, uh, in the West Coast region of, the, of, the bullshit -ass, of this bullshit-ass country. And the motherfucker that was, was the key person to sign that shit off, I only thing I've ever seen from Swanson hater nigga is killing, you know what I mean, like my whole life, all I seen on us was, I remember the best, the biggest, he's a terrorist, the nigga biggest movie, he's a terrorist, he walked up in the, he was like, I'll be back, that was in a police station, you know what I'm saying, he told, he said, I'll be back in a police station, rolled through the police station, murdered all the pigs, you know what I'm saying, he's a terrorist, Arnold Killer nigga is a terrorist, and he fucking, I mean, goddamn. you know what I'm saying, so how the fuck can that be justified, you know what I'm saying, like, and Tookie Williams, he, he represents, uh, the fact he's the true motherfucking definition of redemption, like for real, not just by that movie shit, but by how he trans, he trans, all that, transform all that, that negative energy into something that was way more powerful than him. And he was doing that shit from behind the fucking steel gates. I mean, and doing it so, 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 so sincerely. And and for um, Swanson hater nigga to do what he did, it just shows that violence. In America is the is is depicted negatively when you know what I mean when it benefits the motherfuckers who are oppressing us you know what I'm saying motherfuckers been using violence to sell entertainment movie all that shit like from my before I was born you know what I mean so America's born they on violence, violent you know with I mean? toothpaste they violent in kid cartoons they cartoons they, they, they violent in everything but everything. yeah but when I want a little freedom and you can't love and justice. Oh, you want me to be non-violent? Oh, please don't be violent. Like, motherfucker, please. We just trying to position ourselves a little better. And of course, you ain't gonna just give up your fucking shit. So we gonna have to take your shit. I use any method I gotta use. Yeah, I would love to be non-violent. Really, that is really my strategy. Look, I got a pink shirt on. I really, <laughs> I would love to be non-violent. For real. 
But realistically, <laughs> let's say realistically, when it comes down to I have to defend that, we have to defend that. Yeah, we got to defend it. I said, period. And that's what it's going to take by any means. By any means. You know, if it by is violent or not.